Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys how to clear the other storage on your iPhone. So if you go to your iPhone and you go to settings, of course, you go to general, you will see right there iPhone storage. At the top, you will see the storage on your iPhone and of course, everything that is taking up that storage. You will have here other, that section right there that is taking space on your device and sometimes it might be quite a bit, but of course you don't even know what's in there. So of course you need to free up space on your iPhone and clear stuff out of this storage. So you can see right here, other takes six gigs on my iPhone and that's not really that bad on some iPhones that I have seen, it will be way, way worse. So in this video, I will show you guys a few tips and tricks that will help you free up space on the other section on the storage of your iPhone. The first thing you need to do is make sure that you have your device always updated to the latest iOS version. Of course, you can do that by going to settings, go to general, go to software update, and always make sure that you have it updated. When you update your device, a lot of times it will clear up junk files from the other storage. Of course, files that you might not need at all, but are just there. So always make sure that you have your device updated to the latest version. The next thing you can do is clear apps caches. So when you go to your iPhone, go to general, go to iPhone storage, you will see right here a list of all the apps that are taking more space on your device. So if you go to one of the apps, you will notice right here, it shows the app size, that's the actual size of the app, and then you have documents and data. But of course, every app has its cache as well, which contains a lot of files and probably is taking quite a lot of space on your device. So what you can do to clear the cache of the apps, of course, you don't have like a dedicated button that can do that, but what you can do is delete the app and reinstall it. By deleting it, it will delete the cache files. Now you will have an option here when you go to storage and go to one of the apps, you will have an option to offload the app. Now what this will do is that it deletes the app from your device, but it will still keep the data and info that you need on that app. So documents and data will be saved. And once you have that app reinstalled, you will have all that right there. But by deleting the app, it will delete the cache files, but it will still keep the data that you need. So that way you can clear the cache of different apps that you might have installed on your device and are taking a lot of space. Another thing that will contain a lot of cached files and of course will take up quite a lot of space on the device or email accounts. So what I suggest you do is go ahead, go to your settings, go to the mail section, go to your accounts, and right here you will find your accounts. You can go to one of them and delete the account from your device. So here I have my email. I can go ahead and delete it from here. Now by deleting it, it will also delete the cache files of that account. And then all I have to do is just go ahead and re-add the email to my iPhone as easy as that. And of course, I will have the cache files deleted from the device. The next thing you can do is go ahead, open the settings app, go to Safari and scroll all the way down here to advanced. Once you go to advanced, you will find here website data. Now, if you go right here, it will show you a list of all the websites that have data saved on your device. And it also shows you how much data that have, they have saved on your device. So right here you can see I have like 500 megabytes and I do a cleanup, like I clean the history of Safari, I clean these data quite often and it still has more than 500 megabytes if you never cleared like safari data and all that you will probably have gigs here so what you can do is tap the edit button go ahead and delete these one by one or you can go ahead and remove all of them from here with one button and that's really really useful if you go back you will also have a clear history and website data as well so right here on the advanced you can go ahead and just clear the website data not the history that you have searched for the websites that you have visited and all that just the data of websites that they have stored on your device but by going here to clear history and website data then you will be able to go ahead and clear all the data of safari including the history the searches the websites you have visited and all that stuff the next thing you can do is open the safari app go right here to the history and go to the reading list now right here we'll have things that you have added to your reading list and you might have them saved locally on your device 
for offline listing. So what you can do is go ahead and go to settings, go to Safari and see right here if you have automatically save offline enable. If you have this, go ahead and disable this because any like article that you will save for basically to add to the reading list, it will be downloaded and saved like locally on your device. And of course that takes space. So go ahead and disable this. Of course, if you don't really need those articles to be saved for offline reading, then go ahead right here. We'll have a button to edit this. You can go ahead and tap on each of these and of course delete them from here or you can even do that without having to like go to the edit mode just swipe like this and delete all the stuff that you have all the different articles that you might have saved here for offline listening and of course if nothing works then the last option is to back up your device using itunes or back it up using icloud and then go ahead and restore your device you can do that even from your iphone so if you back up to icloud or itunes you can just go ahead go to general and go ahead and tap on reset and basically just delete everything that you have on your iphone and then recover them through the backup that you have done previously of course you can do this using itunes as well you can just go ahead and do a clean restore of your device and then just restore all the stuff that you have backed up using itunes now of course this will be the last option if nothing works that you can go ahead and do this right here go ahead and just restore your device do a clean restore and then just get back all the data using the backup so that is it for this video guys these are a few things that you can do in order to clear up the other storage on your iphone sometimes it will take a ton of storage on your iphone maybe like 10 gigs or even more but of course using these things these tips you can help it reduce that storage that it's being taken by the other files of course taking up the space that you might need on your iphone for your personal data so that's pretty much it go ahead and follow these tips and tricks and probably you will get some more free space on your iphone by clearing stuff from the other section so that's basically it for this video guys go ahead and subscribe for more videos like this leave a like in this one if you enjoyed it and also don't forget to subscribe for more and i'll see you guys on the next one